Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be getting out on Spain and taking a look at some of the hotspots for the European Eel that me and Tony was working at our behinds off yesterday. Um, off stream trying to find some hotspots for us all. If it wasn't through the official discords, it was keeping an eye on the in-game chat. We're going to talk through the baits, the locations. We're going to try and touch some of the hook ties. I don't know if we'll manage to, but listen, if you do enjoy the kind of content on the Angler, consider subscribing to the channel, join our Discord, the link will be in the description. Drop a like on the video if it helps. Leave a little comment. Let me know if you've got yourselves a diamond eel already in game, guys. More importantly, sit back, enjoy the rest of the video. Tight lines out there, and I'll catch you all in stream next time. <laughs> right, guys, as usual, before we start, let's talk through let's talk through the rig that I'm going to be using to catch this eel on. Now I'm using my Devil's Advocate Rod, Pure Champion Reel, 38 pound braid, float, size 5 hook and a minnow. Just for the purposes of the video, because I just want to be catching fish and moving on through the spots, but. I know 38 pound braid is well overpowered for the eel, but once again, I just want to get these fish in as quick as possible, get you guys the spots out there, and then um, you guys can get out there and try and find some of these eels for yourself. So let's jump into the first location, guys. Right, arriving at spot one, as you can see, there's already eel around here. Now, this spot was found, uh, what me and Tony were doing yesterday, we were jumping on to Spain multiplayer, of course. Every time someone was catching like a gold eel, a gold barbel, gold carp, whatever they were catching, if there was someone catching a gold or bigger, we was marking the location on the map with a little tag and tagging it with what it was so and then I, we can refer back to them just trying to figure out some hot spots for you guys so there was some gold eel being caught from here yesterday now i'm gonna do my best to try and catch at least one or two eel from each spot show the location and move on um i think i've got about five or six locations to show you guys but i'll catch up with you when we're hooking to one of these eels here we go first fish doesn't look like a big eel but it's an eel we take them we take them the eel looks so good as well and i like what they've done with the um like the coating, on, it's not called the coating, you know the skin on the fish, they look fantastic, like the wet look, looks super super good on all the fish it does, you'll see on the eel in a minute, it like shines, the skin does, I think this is just a big silver if I'm going to be honest, or a decent-ish silver, there is a nice eel out there I saw just before we started this video, which is super nice to know, yeah five pound silver, so that, do you see what I mean by the shine on the coat, looks super super nice, so starting off with a five pounder, which is not bad at all, once again guys, always refer back to your handbook, um, the bait, they're like the minnows, the bloodworms, the redworms, lake shore, shallow lakes, deep lakes. So we were fishing, we were trying deep water, we were trying in, like, in tight up against the banks, you know, trying to figure out which is going to be best for him. And we were having more luck for the eels tight up against the bank, but there is a spot. That's a big pumpkin seed, is it not? No. There is a spot, a diamond location where people have been getting diamond eels from that's just out in deep water, which is really, really crazy to think about. Here we go. We've got another eel coming in as we speak. So I'm going to catch this eel, like I say, this, this is where people have been catching golds or diamonds from. So I'll catch this eel, I'll show the location, then we're going to move on to another spot. There we go. Last one, we'll get this guy reeled in. Rip him in, in fact, we'll rip him in. And just in case you don't know where this spot is, I'll fly it up on the map for you. You can jot it down yourself and get out there and let me know in the comment sections if these spots do help you. What have we got here? Another five? Another five, nearly six, nearly six, super, super nice. So the location for this is, so the starter outpost is there, guys. Make sure my webcam's not in the way. Straight diagonally up right, there's this trailhead here. I'm not pronouncing that trailhead, so the starter outpost is there. And I'm up here in this bay here, in this little bay right next to this trailhead. Now let's move on to this location number two. Right, there is one there now. I've just had to move, look. I've just had to come to the other side of the dam. I'll explain in a second after I'm having no luck on the other side of the dam for some reason. I could not see any eel, which is weird because we were catching so many eel there the other day. But yeah, I've just come to the other side of the dam, just trying to snatch an eel out of this spot. There's one down there to my left as well. I'm trying to snatch an eel out of this spot just so I can show you this location. Now, once again, this is where Tony showed me. Fantastic locations for the eel. I'm sure Tipsy was fishing here on his, over on his Twitch streams. Um, I'll get this guy in. I've even dropped the hook size to see if that's what the issue were, but it weren't. It was, I could not see any eel at all, but we'll get this guy ripped in. Looks like a decent-ish eel, probably another silver around that £5 mark once again. Um, and I'm probably just going to show you this location straight away and move on to the next location, guys, because we've got quite a few to get through. But let's get this guy in and see what he is. I'm imagining he's going to be about another £5, high £5 silver, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, 5.53 silver. Super, super nice. Super nice. What's that head? That's disgusting. Anyway, guys, let me show you the location where we're fishing now for these eels. Right, as always, the starter outpost is here, bottom center of the screen. And then we are going right up here to this um, yellow outpost. And we're just at the dam wall there. Now, I was started off fishing at this side of the dam, but I could not see any eel whatsoever. So and then I moved to this side. So just this dam wall is a fantastic location for some eel, guys. Now, let's move on to spot number three. 
Right, guys, location number three. Now, this is solely based on me and Tony was out on multiplayer yesterday. As there's an eel coming straight away. This is my first time fishing this spot. And there were two people down here smashing eel out. A couple of gold eels out of this location. So I just marked it. This is my first time fishing it. I'm hoping we can get something nice and nice and cute from here because this is a hard spot to get to. It's a decent boat drive to get into this little cove or a bay or whatever you want to call it. We'll call it a bay. Um, and fan it looked fantastic with how many eel them guys were pulling out anyway, put it that way. But we're just going to catch a couple of eel from here. I am going to spend some time in here on stream. And once again, if you do not know, we stream on YouTube, guys. So if you are interested in watching some of the angler streams or call the wild streams, this is the channel for you. So definitely hit that sub button, guys. I appreciate you. We're on our way to 10,000 subs now. So what have we got here? Another £5 silver. That seems to be the, the standard for the day, which is not an issue for me. I just want to get these spots out to you straight away. So the starter outpost is there. And we are northeast, directly northeast from the starter outpost, right up in this big deep water, down in the left bottom right hand corner, sorry, in the bay. And I took the boat from here right around into this bay. And can you see the contour lines there? So it's shallow in the edge, a little bit deeper out in like just off the bank, and then a little deep hole, which is super interesting. Why that's been put there, we don't know. Maybe it's a hot spot, maybe it's not. But well, let's move on to the last location, guys, the diamond location. Right, guys, arriving at the last location. I say best to the last, maybe. Like I said before, them locations that I showed you was where people were catching golds. That does ne not necessarily means it's not a diamond location. It just means that I've seen people catching golds there or people have reported catching golds there. So it could be a diamond location. It might just be a gold location. But this location is where some people have been catching some diamond eels and putting them in the official Discord servers, which is which is why the official Discord server is so handy to be in, guys. So let's catch a few eels from here. I'm not I'm not trying to catch a diamond. Catch a few eels from here, be it silver, be it a bronze, whatever it is, and I can show you this location. And you guys can zip over here and see what you can catch yourself, guys. And once again, let me know in the comment sections what you've been catching so far with the eels, guys. I think there's one there. Once again, just a super small eel. Just a super, super small eel. Probably around that same size. Come on, buddy. Get ripped in. Get ripped him. There we go. Get him in. Yeah, probably the same size. Probably a little touch bigger. Three and three quarter pound, maybe, something like that. But yeah, we'll get this guy ripped in. Once again, like I said, I don't hold trophies back for these videos, so I don't mind if they're bronze, silvers, golds, diamonds. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you guys enjoy the videos. And if you do enjoy the videos, guys, consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a little like on the video. Leave a little comment as well, guys. Everything helps. You know the script anyway. But yeah, let me show you this last location, guys, and let's end it. So the location for the diamond one, if you do not know where it is, the starter outpost is, is lost, always lost, always lost. The starter outpost is there and we are far, far north, top right, far north. We're in that little bay there, right in this deep bracket of water there. So next to this outpost, Paso del Bal, I'm not pronouncing that. And we're just in that bit of water out there, guys. Once again, I appreciate all the new subscribers. 10k, here we come, guys. Appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tight lines over the weekend. I'll catch you all on the stream next time, guys. Peace.